Um, thank you for sharing your wedding album reveal. I mean, I know it's for you guys, it's like second nature. You're on YouTube and Facebook and TikTok all the time, like touring the country, doing fantastic things, showcasing pubs. Drinking. Drinking. <laughs> Drinking. I mean, we were accused the other day of being professional drinkers. Aren't we all? I've been called worse. <laughs> I, I've definitely been called worse things than a professional drinker. So, so how did it? How did it? How did it all come about? How did the the, the wedding idea? or the pub crawl? <laughs> um, well, let, let's let's talk about you guys for a bit. Uh, you know, so the actual um, the actual idea of I know let's put this on social rather than let's just get pissed up. Well, we I was bored of going to the same four pubs all the time. All we ever did was go, we'd go out, we'd go into Nottingham, we'd go to the same four pubs, and we'd finish up in this place called Mojo. And it is a hole. It is just it's a hole. Bad, it is. It's, it's expensive. It's expensive, and, and it's a hole. And it's expensive and a hole because it's the latest opening place in Nottingham. Yep. So it attracts all the idiots come the end of the night, they all go there. And I, so I was like, can we not go somewhere else? Like, why don't we go on a pub crawl? And she's looking at me, she's like, well, we always go on a pub crawl. I don't know, why don't we do a pub crawl? And then the next day, just, just so happened that the Nottinghamshire Post shared an article called The Best Five Pubs in Nottinghamshire. So I got on my high horse, who knew, and said, how do they know what the best five pubs in Nottinghamshire are? Have they been to them all? I bet they haven't. Yeah. I'm going to go to all the pubs in Nottinghamshire and I'm going to decide what the best five are. And then next year when they share this article, I can tell them what rubbish they're talking. So it started out that we were just going to do every pub in Nottinghamshire. And then we did every pub in Nottinghamshire. So you've actually been to every pub in Nottinghamshire and have, well, Apart from some that have now opened since we started, yeah. and we've been to the area already. We will go and catch them. But yeah, there are some that have opened since we've done. We had, at the time, done everything in Nottinghamshire. Do you get invites then to like, oh, we've just opened, we need you guys to come in? No, not as such. We do get invites to come to places. Like we've been to a town that's all oh, weird down there, or people, pubs that are following us do message and say, oh, when are you coming to here? Or you're always welcome to come and see us. So we get that quite a lot now. But yeah, then we just, we decided to, we put it on social media and it, it, we ended up with about two or 3,000 followers within about three months of doing it. And it was just weird to us that anybody would take an interest in our little quest of drinking. Um, and then we just felt obliged to keep it going. Well, I mean, everyone loves to piss up, right? Exactly, yeah, <laughs> exactly, exactly that. So yeah, we, we're now just below 15,000 Facebook followers. Wow. Um, and we just, now if we don't go out, and do it, we feel like we've let people down by not going out on a day. So every every Friday and Saturday without fail, we're out. We try and do Thursdays, we try and do Sundays, we try and do the odd weeknight if we can. 2,115 is the current number that we've been to in just over 18 months. Wow. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's a, not a hobby. It's a few, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's a few. It's a second job. <laughs> it is a second job, isn't it? So, um, I've also got some questions to ask. This is more about the photography and me and your experience with us. Um, with this, don't worry, I haven't come up with these. I haven't actually read them yet. So these are ChatGTP, my best friend. Oh, yeah. um, just ask some questions. What? So what I thought we could do, I've got eight questions. We'll pick three numbers each, one to eight. And we'll start, we'll try to go first. So we'll start with Holly. Oh, uh, you're allowed number, to talk. Pick a number one to eight. Four. Four. Did our photography style align with your vision for your wedding photos? If so, what aspects did you appreciate the most? Good question, ChatGTP. <laughs> I would say 100%, yes. We, well, I put look for a candid style like we did anyway, because I think when you get so involved with being posed and yeah it just feels a bit forced to me and I much rather it was more natural and just people kind of enjoying the day so for me personally I, I think it was 100% the right choice and I was very happy with it and throughout the day for everything yeah, yeah. So did you know, find that in the evening uh, when we were doing the, the, the sunsets was it easy to get into the posing when we were doing a bit of posing yeah so I didn't at any point feel like uncomfortable or then I wasn't doing that, it right. Not, not <laughs> over, no, like not over the top or anything, just like a gentle nudge of like, oh yeah, just do this slightly or, and like, that, I think that works perfectly. Yeah, well, thank you. Um, so let's go to uh, Dale. Uh, Dale, pick a number one through eight, but not four. Got to be seven. Got to be seven. 
Did our team make you and your guests feel comfortable and at ease during the photography sessions? I would say so. Yeah, I, I, I said. I mean, I I'm not a fan of having my own picture. I mean, I'm all right doing selfies and things like that, but I'm not a fan of pose. I'm I can't. I'm Chandler from Friends. When I have to try and smile, I can't do it. Which is why seeing that photo of me smiling, I'm like, how on earth did you manage to do that? Because I'm not very good at it. Uh, well, I, did, I did have all day. Well, yeah, you did have all day. You, you managed one all day, which is, which is still one more than anyone else has ever managed. It's still good. Um, but yeah, I felt I felt totally at ease with it, and I, I definitely we've we've had remarks from the guests. Um, and Holly was actually telling me in the car on the way here that she went out with one of her bridesmaids last night to see S Club. Um, and, and she was actually saying that one of her bridesmaids was saying how impressed they were with the photography and uh, how nice and relaxed the day felt and how good you were. So yeah, I'd say big tick. Fantastic. Um, and for question two for Holly, one through eight without four or seven. Two. Two? What would you uh, describe the overall experience of working with our photography team from the initial consultation to the final delivery of your photos? Very professional, I would say. Like, I think we're very on track with organising meetings and getting to know what we specifically what we wanted. And I think that with the use of like all the little questionnaires and stuff, I think they weren't too many. No, <laughs> no, I was quite helpful actually. I, there, think, there, I there think were, that was helpful. There were points where I was like, oh, I don't know, and then things that we hadn't even thought about because. There's so much else to think about. There's just the little features the that day. you wouldn't necessarily it, think about. Yeah. Your method of doing things shows that you care about the customer and the client yeah. who you're working exactly. for and that you want to deliver the best service for them on their big day. Yeah. Whereas we've experienced other aspects of the thing. I'm not going to put anybody in, but we experienced other aspects of the organisation with different things where we, we didn't think that they even gave stuff about what we wanted on our day. So we got rid of them and brought someone else in for it. Yeah. Yeah. So... Yeah, that was very good from start to finish. Yes, Perfect. Um, and then let's go a uh, question to Dale. Well, I'm number one, so... Number one. Uh, what... Yeah, this, is, this is a fun one. So what Pacific, the ocean, uh, moments or aspects of your wedding day um, were most important to you? And did we capture them to, uh, to your satisfaction? Well, the bride turned up, so that was a start. Yeah, um, I, yeah I, was, I was very impressed with that. I, uh, you did come and reassure me that she was actually there. She was ready and she was going to go. I did so, yeah, that was quite a pep talk, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah having a yeah, but that was yeah, that was obviously quite important that the, the bride was there. But there were just there were like, it was it was important to me that we we made sure that you got the candid photos of, of things and all the photos that we had set out to you beforehand that we wanted to capture. Uh, they're all there. Yeah, they're all there. So we didn't. We don't feel we missed anything by what we what we asked for was what you delivered um and yeah that was that was vitally important to us it was nice to uh to know basically that we need to be in certain places i know we were, we were all running a little bit late or not quite ready it was hot and stuff like that but you don't realize how hung over we were when we <laughs> arrived so me and holly had a little pact the uh the night before that neither of us would get too drunk we would go to bed at a sensible time and we would be fresh and exuberant for our uh, our big day, and we both failed miserably. miserably. <laughs> the big question is: Did you do a post the night before? Did you do a Did you do a, a Great British pub crawl? No, I didn't do one the night before. I did sit up just chatting rubbish to my best man until five o'clock in the morning, though, having had um, and with a bottle of Jack Daniels and and yeah, so it didn't. He was supposed to get me to bed early. I mean, he did get me to my room early, but then he stayed in my room with me for about four hours after that and before we went. So, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't the best preparation. And by the time I, I was hanging, when we got out of the car and we saw you were already there, you were like, oh, come on, let's do this. And I was like... I, I bring a bit too much energy. <sighs> yeah, yeah. The, uh, the second pint was my lifesaver. The second pint of the day was the one that sort of saved my life and kick-started it. So, but Holly was equally as hungover, apparently, so... One of my bridesmaids got a bit uh, enthusiastic with her bank card and buying shots and bottles of wine. So, Ooh. Yeah. so, so I suppose is, was that a good thing? Did it settle the nerves? We were, were you nervous the night before, and that's what I actually slept the night before. So that was something. Yeah, <laughs> glad one of us did. <laughs> um, a beer always settles the nerves of anything, doesn't it? But I, 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 yeah, I don't think I. 
I don't think I've ever got nervous about anything until sort of half an hour before the ceremony, where I clearly, apparently, was a bag of nerves. But Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, <laughs> I've never seen that. Yeah. Was, uh... I'm really pleased that there's going to be video evidence of that. <laughs> Um, so the last question for you, well, second to last question for you guys, who wants to go? So who have we done? It's Ollie. Well done, yeah. What numbers have we got left? Uh, we Not have one, two, four, or seven. One, two, four, seven, gone. We'll go eight. Sorry? We'll go eight. Eight. Uh, can you share any specific feedback or comments about your photographer or any memorable moments from your photography experience that you'd like to highlight in your review? To be honest, I don't think there was any part of the day that I thought, oh, I, like, I don't agree with this shot or I, I don't like this one. Um, also, other people, quite a few people since the wedding have said how fantastic they thought you were, even asked me who we used and stuff like that. That's so, always good. Um, everyone said that you made them very comfortable and highlights wise I think that the, I, was, I think it's really important that we got like the big group shot that we really wanted and I think it turned out really really nicely I think that's one of my favourites and obviously the sunset ones were really beautiful as well yeah definitely 100% and the last question this is I've read, I've read this one so <laughs> go on it, it might come out come out a bit wrong how did you come across Oliver Kershaw photography and what was your deciding factor in choosing us as your wedding photographer did, I don't know how we did. We get were you at one of the wedding fairs we went to? Wedding fair. Colic wedding yeah. fair. Colic wedding yeah. fair. Yeah. That must so, have been. Yeah, we picked up a, a card there, and then when I went through the wedding fair things, um, kind of had a look at the different. And by a mile, yours looked the best. We kind of wore what we wanted, and I think actually it was one of the sunset shots on the website that we both saw. Like, yeah, I that think it was. Really, yeah. Really like that. Yeah. yeah. So it went through the website. Yeah, had a look, yeah. We, it. yeah, we saw we obviously saw you at the wedding fair, took some details, and then uh, I sat down and trawled through hours worth of photographers and other stuff. Holly just sat there playing football manager, kept going, Do you want to look at this babe? No, she said, I'm I'm busy managing Nottingham Forest to win the yeah. European Cup. Didn't take a single bit of notice of what was going on, and then just told me we were using you. Happy days. And you said yes, dear. Yes, dear, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah perfect. Well, guys, um, thank you very much um, for inflating my ego. I, I do apologise. Um, but the reason why I'm doing this now, rather than sort of, I'll send another questionnaire out, which I probably still will send out anyway, um, and then write it down. And um, It's just nice to actually, for other people to see your experience and share that with them. Uh, and I thought, well, you guys are, are the perfect candidate, as you are social media. Uh, icons now. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my mum always said I'd amount to something one day. I don't think this is quite what she had in mind, but you know. And I suppose the last one. Do you have any questions for me? Oh, no, so it's a bit late for questions now. I think anyway, yeah, it's, it's all uh, all done and dusted. Well, cheers. So, no, cheers. Here's a question. Thank you very much. How did you both find the day? Did you find it stressful? Did you, in comparison to other ones you've shot and done? No, actually. The bride and groom are usually hungover, are they? <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Good. No, it's, um, to be honest, the venue was nice. So I had a little, I was a bit worried when you said, oh, it's, because I looked on Google Earth and I was like, oh, there wasn't, where's, where's, where are we doing group shots? And then we found the little secret garden and I was like, oh, perfect. And we had the park down the road, so that, yeah. that was fine. And the shots, uh, ceremony room was nice. Uh, just when um, we watched the, oh, I won't, won't go into it. Uh, oh, the video. Yeah, the video. Yeah. Because you, you watched the video. Um, so we've got the the whole video, have we? On there, or is it the? Um, the highlight video. Uh, yeah. The email's got the highlights reel in it at the minute. The highlight reel. Yeah. Uh, it's got the highlight ceremony and the speeches. Speeches. Yeah. Nice. So it's got all of that on it too. So yeah, it's um, no, I really enjoyed. Really enjoyed. I love shooting weddings. At the end of the day, I, I, I wish I could shoot. More you can tell. You can tell your passion for it. Yeah. yeah, it is. It is a passion. So it's it's just when you find something you love doing, you never work a day in your life. Drinking. There you go. There you go. For me, for talking. Drinking. Yeah. <laughs> we're getting. We're about halfway there now on the hours you need on YouTube uh, views. You Four thousand hours viewed on your videos, and a, a thousand subscribers to 
get it monetized. Oh, okay. So we're we're over halfway then, and we've only been putting a couple on YouTube for three months. So, so. I will also put up um, some links. So please do uh, follow these guys on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, MySpace. Um, I've definitely got a MySpace somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> somewhere. Yeah. Um, and obviously give them a thumbs up and a like on. Um, a like and share and subscribe. Is that what you say? That's what Is I that say. Do it? A like, a share, and a subscribe on the uh, on the YouTube. Uh, the tuba. Um, but yeah, thank you very much. Thanks for stopping by, and um, again, it was a pleasure, guys. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Cheers.